Welcome again to this great platform. This is the Office of the Prophet and the team that is assigned to make sure that your life does not end up in the temporal earthly life, but your life becomes a permanent life as God has intended. God is permanent. God has no expiring date. Human beings were created in his image and likeness also were supposed to live without expiring. But it's because Adam messed up in the Garden of Eden that brought in death. Which God himself spoke and told Adam, if you touch this tree, you will surely die. That means God was going to make sure if Adam broke the law, he will surely die. And that is what has affected our lives. And that is why our lives are temporarily on this earth. But if you want to live a permanent life, then you need to come to understand the concept of the kingdom. That's why Jesus said, those who believe what I say and do what I say, even though they are dead, they shall live. They will pass on from death to life. That is the permanent life. But that's by the way. We are looking at success in this new year. Happy New Year one more time because we are in the early part of New Year, the first month of January. Today, the 13th. The last time we talked about success and we said the success of God's children is totally and completely different from the success of the world. The world's success is you get rich, you get wealth, you build houses, get the best car, marry the best woman and children and live good and die. And that is the end. The Rockefellers, all the rich people that ever live on earth, where are they? They are dead and that is the end. Remember the story about the rich man and Lazarus. I don't think you want to be part of that. There is a success that is permanent. And that is the success that begins with seek ye first the kingdom of God. That's what I talked about in the early part. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all other things shall be added unto you. That is the success that is permanent. Okay, Jesus was asked by the disciples when the rich man could not respond to Jesus. When he said it will be difficult for a rich man to enter heaven as it will be like a camel going through the eye of the needle. The disciples that followed him said, Master, then what will happen to we who have left everything and following you? He said, no one who will respond to the kingdom, losing everything, will not get a hundredfold in this earth and the next world and forever. That's the permanent success we are talking about. That's the permanent success we are talking about. And that permanent success can only come through seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you. We also told you that success goes with knowledge and understanding. Because why? God said that many are the plans in a man's heart, but nevertheless is the Lord's purpose that will prevail. That means get knowledge and know what God's purpose for your life is. Otherwise, whatever you do will never prevail. That is what we talked about. A gift will take a man to prominent people. What is that gift? That is your purpose. That is the plan God has for you. We talk about a mango that has identified its gift. Best, beautiful, juicy mango. Makes human beings travel to the forest, to the farms, to bring the mangoes home and sell them for money. I love mangoes. And you know how mango juice is so nice. And because the mango knows its purpose, even though it is sitting in the forest, man will travel and go and get it. When you know your purpose, people will travel from every part of this world to get what you have. And that is what makes you wealthy. When Bill Gates knew what he could do, look at him. Steve Jobs, look at them. When you know what you are supposed to do, you become a unique person.
And every human being has a unique gift. That's why we all have different names. No human being is empty. Because God has a lot. So today we are going to look at another aspect. That if you know your purpose. You can know your purpose and you live a temporal life. That means when you die, that is the end. If Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, and the rest of the billionaires, if they don't know the concept of the kingdom, when they die, that is the end. It is like the Rockefellers. It doesn't matter the church you go to, what religion you believe in. If you don't know the concept of the kingdom, forget it. Because it is only the concept of the kingdom that can bring man back to where he lost his position. That's why Jesus said the concept of the kingdom is like the prodigal son who returned to his father. Jesus said, all ye like sheep have gone astray. That means every human being on planet earth has gone astray because of Adam. And if you have gone astray, that means everything you are doing is temporary and useless. That's why you need to come back. So get this right. People can discover their purpose like Bill Gates and co, Steve Jobs and co. But they don't have permanent life because when they die and they don't know the concept of the kingdom, they will not live again. That will be the end. But if you know your purpose and you know the concept of the kingdom, then your purpose and your everything will be permanent. So get this knowledge and get this understanding. Your success is different from the world's success. The world's success is to get the world, get everything, enjoy, and die, and that is it. The longest they can live is 100 years or a little bit over 100 years. But if you and I discover the kingdom success, we will live forever. That is the one we are talking about. And that is what you must do. And if you have the knowledge, then you can trace and discover your purpose. When you have your purpose, no struggle in life. I know my purpose. That's why I don't struggle. Look at the people that are looking for me. When I speak, people say, wow. Only enemies who know what I'm speaking is good, but they still are enemies. It pains them that you have such information and they don't have. But that's uselessness. That's bogusness. That's evil in people. And it is only in religious people. Kingdom people don't Jealous people, don't evil people. We love people, even when they are enemies. My brother, my sister, I believe that this is good and this is wonderful. Try and spread this video to many people, many friends, and remain here and thumb it up so that more people can get it. God bless you.